What's up everybody? Welcome to the Daily Dahlia. I'm Dahlia and today we're going on an exciting adventure, kayaking. So friends, I'm pretty excited. We haven't done anything like this in a while, especially since we moved here. So we're going to have a little outdoor adventure. It's going to be real hot, but it's going to be on a lake. So hopefully it'll be nice and cool. I don't know. I'll try and keep you along for the ride. I don't know if I feel comfortable carrying my phone in a kayak, but we'll see. <laughs> Welcome to kayaking. This area is kind of cool. It's like a sort of resort area, I guess. Like you can buy lakeside homes and, and uh, I don't know, enjoy water sports, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, this is fun. It's super hot. Like 90 something degrees. Ah, uh, yeah, it's real hot. I've got a special protective case for my phone that is touch enabled, which is pretty awesome. Ugh. But yeah. So, yeah, welcome to kayaking. <laughs> Look at these fancy houses. That one right there is intense. Gonna crash! Oh. <laughs> I did, but it's okay. Man, it's hot. Holy cow. Feels like it just escalated. Check out this house. Wow. Look at those windows and like the ivy. How cool is that? And the house next to it. I could see like into, into the house. It had huge windows and you can see there was like a huge like gallery staircase with a big chandelier. I bet it's impossible to keep that house cool in the summer, but wow. Gorgeous. How nice it must be to be rich. Heading back now. We made it all the way to the end, didn't we, babe? Yep. <laughs> we didn't make it all the way to the end. Yeah, we got like 98% of the way there, so Zach says. But there was like this one part that was like extra long, and I was like, meh, I don't want to go that far. So now we're heading back. About an hour in now, and it's hot, <laughs> and our shoulders are burning. <sighs> hey, friends. So we had a good time kayaking today. Maybe went a little too far. Got kind of tired. But we had a good time. We got some sunshine. We did a little outdoor thing. So that was cool. Then we came home. To find out that our upstairs AC is not working. <laughs> Which is great because that's where we sleep. And that's also the place where it gets super hot. So... And they called the emergency maintenance line and they, they said they'll get back to us tomorrow because obviously you can't have, you know, an AC repairman come the same day because what, how, what's the point of it being that convenient? So hopefully they can come tomorrow and fix that, especially before Zach has to go back to work. But I have to work tomorrow, so that'll be fun. See if we can sleep tonight, but we're currently thinking about whether we should just put... A, um, put our spare mattress of our guest bedroom down here in this empty space because the AC is working down here so uh, yeah well uh, I'll keep you posted on that <laughs> Whew. hey guys so we're sort of on day two of the AC not working super great it turned on this morning and it has been working, but it hasn't been keeping up with the heat. So we're not sure if it's just trying to play catch up and maybe tonight it will catch up and finally cool down or if it's actually broken. 
So yesterday I called the emergency hotline and they said, okay, we'll call you back tomorrow. And of course they never called back. So we'll see how things go tomorrow and see if it gets better. We left it off last night and I turned it on this morning and it turned out okay. So I mean, it seemed to work anyway. So hopefully it's, it's okay. It just needed a break or was overloaded or something. I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> but I guess if it doesn't cool down before we go to bed tonight, we're going to be sleeping again on the mattress on the floor. And that was not the best. <laughs> we're very used to our very comfy tempur mattress or whatever it is that we have. Steely posh -pedic. I don't know memory foam anyway or something like that but yeah <laughs> so this uh regular pillow top mattress is not doing it for us anymore we're a little bit spoiled hopefully things go better tonight fingers crossed the dog has claimed the bed I do not know if any humans will be sleeping there tonight. <laughs> Mr. Bites? Where are you? There you are. You're a hungry boy, huh? You're a hungry boy. <laughs> Hi, friends. As you can see, the bed is made. So, seems our AC is working. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but it was definitely not working on Friday. <laughs> I can assure you that. But, whatever, at least it's working now, so hopefully it will stay working. And if the maintenance people ever get back to me, then I will ask them to still come out and take a look at it, because I do not want that to happen again. So anyway, that concludes this video because now the exciting AC developments are over, I guess. I hope. I'll keep you posted. Alright everybody, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!